Hi, I'm John Johnson, the director of the Cornstock production of The Importance of Being Earnest. I'm thrilled to be directing this show because I love the script. It is intensely witty and I think it's perfect uh, as a light entertainment for a warm summer's evening. All right, I'm playing John Worthing in the show, who's one of the two uh, gentlemen in the show that use the pseudonym of Ernest. Uh, my character or lives out in the country, but wants to come into town. And when he comes into town, he pretends to be Ernest. So everybody there in town knows him as Ernest, but all his relatives back in the country know him as John or Uncle Jack. And so uh, trying to get out there, he wants to come to town and uh, propose to his love, Gwendolyn, who loves him because he happens to be called Ernest, which becomes part of the humor of the show uh, with me and with the other uh, lead character, which is Algernon Moncrief, who also goes by the name of Ernest. I'm playing the part of Gwendolyn Fairfax, and Gwendolyn is very, she's refined, and she's very elegant, but she's silly. They're all silly. Every single one of us are silly, and that's what makes this show so fun. Um, she is constantly um, presenting herself as being completely in control and she knows what she wants and she's, she is 100% sure of herself and yet she contradicts herself every other turn and that's what makes it so amusing. I'm Helen Engelbrecht and I'm playing Lady Bracknell in The Importance of Being Earnest this summer. Lady Bracknell I think is the epitome of what Oscar Wilde is trying to satirize in this particular play and uh, my uh, character has so many absurdities that she that she actually believes to be true that her character is as, as I say personifies this this sarcasm and and silliness that Oscar Wilde was trying to portray uh, of the of the period which today could be very easily be also translated in some of our sensibilities today as well so th that's the reason I like her I think she is just so absurd and but yet so earnest about how she feels about the, the, the uh, statements that she's making. I am blessed to be working with the people that I've got in this show. I have wonderful people. They have experienced veteran actors that are doing fabulous work and some people that are brand new to the Cornstock community and they're fabulous. I couldn't be happier. We needed the Algernon, the Jack and the Gwendolyns and the Cecilies to all um, start to form their own little little personalities and as a family we, th this is necessary for, for our play. Uh, the butlers are very necessary for the play because in, in a sense they're the ones who are the most sensible in the whole play. They say the lines strictly in the tr as, as it is true whereas the rest of us are, uh, are trying to uh, form some kind of personas that we think we are. Even, even the uh, uh, pastor uh, in the play and uh, the uh, uh, Miss Prism, the governess, they all have these characters that they want to be, the personas that they want to be, and they're all a little bit out there. I am uh, at Cornstock at the tent for the first time in my life. I'm so excited. I'm actually coming back from a, like a 10-year hiatus from acting. I haven't done any since high school, so, um, so I just aged myself there. <laughs> but I have always been in love with the theater and The Importance of Being Earnest is one of my absolutely favorite shows and I'm so excited to be here with this cast and this director John Johnson has been amazing and we've enjoyed it so much and I cannot wait to present what we've got to everybody. I first moved to the Peoria area many years ago. Um, the first part I got at, in at the Cornstock Theater in the summer was in the round completely in the round and it really transformed me. I felt so close to the audience. I actually felt the chemistry and the and I guess the vibrations from the people in the audience helping our, our characters and helping the play just move along. Ever since I have been lucky enough to do a play I, every summer uh, for many summers, uh, I look forward to the theater in the round or the theater in the three quarters because it really revitalizes me. I, I really enjoy having that audience so close. Well, it's a, it's a fun time. Um, a lot of good uh, period type comedy from uh, the early 19th century, uh, English humor. Uh, a lot of fun to do. A lot of fun with a small cast so you get to know everybody real well. 
And uh, another good thing about it is my wife's helping out. She's in the booth running the lights. So that's a lot of fun to have uh, some fun time with that. And it's a good uh, slapstick kind of comedy here and there. Get to you know spend time learning lots of lines. I don't know that that's my favorite part of the show, but it does take a lot of time. You do get to know the show pretty well when you got all those words to learn. A lot of intricate long words, which is fun. Um, it's a good time out here.